At CES 2023 in Las Vegas, your boy Techno Dad and I got an invitation to meet the CEO of Nakamichi, Raymond Chang. They rented out a private hotel suite where they sat us down and began a PowerPoint presentation going over the history of the coveted nomenclature Dragon in their lineup of products, spanning decades. It all started with their legendary Dragon cassette deck in 1982, a hi-fi component audio enthusiasts would only dream to still have in their collection to this day. That was followed by the Dragon CT computing turntable in 1985 to play your newly purchased vinyl copy of Princess Purple Rain. Fast forward more than a decade and the Dragon CD player roars into action, playing Alanis Morissette's Jagged Little Pill on repeat. But now, after five years of development and almost 30 years since the CD player, the sleeping giant has awoken once again, introducing the 11.4.6 surround sound system from Nakamichi, the return of the Dragon. Now, just to be transparent up front, I am not being paid by Nakamichi to make this video, but after having this meeting at CES, I felt obligated to inform you all about this insane product because it is blurring the lines between a soundbar and a traditional AVR system. But also, this is not an official review of the product since they aren't sending out review units just yet. I hope to get my hands on one soon, at which point I will give you a full review after my listening to it in my own testing theater, as well as in my living room since that's where most of your home theaters are situated. During the PowerPoint presentation, Raymond mentioned three key pillars on which the fundamental design philosophy of this soundbar was built. One, deliver an authentic three-dimensional home theater experience. Two, seamless integration into any room environment. And three, a setup time of less than 15 minutes. But beyond those three pillars, there are so many features that are unique to the Dragon alone, considering this might still be viewed as a soundbar system by most, given its design characteristics. It's the first to offer a ridiculous configuration of 11.4.6, exceeding the channel count of even a flagship AVR like the 15.2 channel Denon A110. And in regards to the front soundstage, instead of a plastic or aluminum chassis paired with fabric like most other soundbars, the Dragon chassis consists of a single engineered piece of stainless steel. They had to partner with an automobile company just to pull that off since none of the parts manufacturers that normally deal with soundbars could do it. This is the first soundbar that has air motion transformer tweeters, more commonly known as AMT tweeters having that signature golden aesthetic. There are a total of seven of them in this system. The hefty nine pound wireless surround speakers are designed in a bipolar configuration with three inch speaker drivers and two AMT tweeters. And the upward firing speaker housed within the surrounds can rotate 180 degrees, so you're no longer constrained by the placement of the speakers themselves to get the best height effects coming from behind. You can aim them however you need to. And speaking of high channels, there are a total of six, two in the surrounds and four in the bar itself two pointed at 10 degrees and two pointed at 20 degrees. And in a minute, I will get to how effective they actually were when we heard the demo. Another first is wireless quad subwoofers, but as you can see, they are housed within two cabinets since they are embedded in an isobaric configuration, a push-pull system, if you will. So that means deeper, more powerful bass without taking up too much real estate in your listening area. But if that's too much, the bass management features can easily be customized to your liking, being able to individually activate or deactivate as many subwoofers as you wish. This system boasts a total of 15 digital amplifiers and a peak power output of 3000 watts, able to reproduce sound up to 125 decibels. If you didn't know, that's loud. And lastly, after collaborating closely with DTS, this is the first soundbar that supports DTSX Pro, given its impressively high channel count. So it brings commercial grade immersive audio into your home. 
And of course it also supports Dolby Atmos. But there's one thing that blew me away since I wasn't even aware of this until we had this meeting. Did you know Dolby has its own version of Atmos that they implement in soundbars? And that it's different from what they implement in AVRs? Yeah. I mean, it makes sense since I've never really been entirely impressed with Atmos in a soundbar, but it's true. So over the five year span, while Nakamichi was developing the Dragon, they went back to Dolby several times, pleading with them to give them the license to implement the AVR version of Atmos in their system. And they were denied over and over again. But then once they had a prototype to show Dolby what this soundbar was truly capable of, Dolby finally gave Nakamichi their blessing and allowed them to implement the AVR version into the Dragon. So out of all the soundbars out there that claim to support Dolby Atmos, this is the only one to possess the AVR version. What a trip to hear that straight from Nakamichi's CEO himself. And I could see it on his face. He must have pestered Dolby for so long before they finally granted him his wish. When we sat down in that hotel suite, Raymond Chang played us some well-known tracks from the Dolby Atmos demo disc, like the scene from Unbroken with explosions and planes flying all around, bullets whizzing by, etc. We also watched the clip from Mad Max Fury Road, capped off by playing us the track where a jet is landing. All of them sounded equally impressive, especially with the bass response. Those isobaric configured subs are aggressive. By far the most bombastic I've heard from the likes of a soundbar system. I'm sorry, I'm gonna keep doing this when I say soundbar. It, you'll see later. The sense of immersion was also outstanding, but those were clips I've heard many, many times. So Techno Dad throws a curveball and asks Raymond to play the Audiosphere track, because that really tests the height channels. Even Raymond was impressed, saying that none of the others that came in for the demo made any requests for other tracks to be played. But for those of you not familiar, Audiosphere is a brightly lit, fun little video where a ball is bouncing around, really testing out your bed layer speakers. But then about a third of the way through, these twinkling bits start to take shape up high, and that's where the height channels are supposed to kick in. And let me tell you, they bounced off that ceiling as if there were actual speakers up there. No joke. And this was a large hotel suite. I'd say the ceilings were nine feet high. Up until that moment, I had never been impressed with upward firing speakers in a soundbar. They never really did the trick because you're usually dealing with speaker drivers that are two or three inches max, but they also don't have a lot of power allocated to them. So what they do shoot towards the ceiling barely bounces off once they reach that height. But these Dragon upward firing speakers are not your ordinary upward firing speakers because 3000 watts of total power is nothing to scoff at. And as I said before, it sounded like actual speakers were above me. Raymond Chang even mentioned that because they were in a hotel suite with gigantic windows to one side and kind of like this open bar area on the other side, it just wasn't ideal. So they purposely didn't even run any kind of customizations or room tuning. This was just the dragon straight out of the box. Now, I know some of you have already checked the price online of this thing, which made your eyes bulge a little bit, or perhaps even made you shed a tear or five, but I get it. With a retail price of $34.99, I know the knee jerk reaction for a lot of you out there is, <laughs> No way am I going to pay that much for a soundbar system. Give me a break. Hey, guess what? I 100% agree with that sentiment. But please stick with me here for the next few minutes while I break this down for you. This is not a soundbar. At least not the kind you're used to when strolling through Best Buy or Costco, etc. Yes, it is an easy to set up system that hooks up to your TV via HDMI, like a soundbar. Yes, the front speakers are housed in a chassis that is shaped like a bar. But before the Dragon, if you wanted anything close to an 11.4.6 system, you were exclusively dealing with high-end preamps like a Trinoff Altitude 16, which is the same price as a car, and you don't get any speakers or amps with it. The Dragon is the first of its kind to support DTSX Pro. Do you know the cheapest Denon AVR that supports DTSX Pro? the X6700H, which is how much? Yeah, $3,300. 
and that's the ABR alone. That's not including the cost of speakers. And let's not forget that Dolby signed off on the use of their AVR version of Atmos in the Dragon. So the fact that Dolby Labs doesn't even view this system as a soundbar, you shouldn't have that mindset either. So now do you think $3,500 is a good deal when you get DTSX Pro, the AVR version of Atmos, a ridiculous channel count, upward firing height channels that actually work, AMT tweeters, a stainless steel chassis, quad subwoofers, and 3000 watts of power? Nakamichi have created something so unique, even they don't call it a soundbar. The official name on their literature and promotional materials is the Dragon 11.4.6 Home Surround Sound System. And honestly, that's exactly what it is. At least as of this recording, the Dragon is slated to be released sometime in quarter two of 2023. I sure hope to get my hands on one before then so I can really test it out for you. I really want to test out objects moving within the 3D audio space that it creates to see how accurate the soundstage is, etc. So be on the lookout for that. And now it's your turn. There's still a lot of mystery surrounding this system, so are you excited? Are you still reeling from the sticker shock given that it will retail at $34.99? Have I explained it enough to make you realize that that's actually a really good deal? Let's start a conversation, people. As always, please be kind to each other out there. Don't just watch TV and movies. Dream of experiencing them on your future Dragon 11.4.6 home surround sound system. And of course, always be listening. <laughs>